Hey, hello world. My name is Prithviraj and welcome to my YouTube channel Bionic B. On this channel, I'll be presenting my ideas for all the guys who really enjoy learning data science and AI. My goal is to inspire you guys to get creative in the field of AI and have fun trying new ideas and reading research papers. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down there so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching. So hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk in detail about mathematics behind a convolution. This is a very interesting topic and very very important for us to understand how the convolution is working in an image. I would suggest everyone not to mug up the mathematics but try to understand what is happening, okay? So if I just look into this uh, image uh, then there is a 5 cross 5 image which is convoluting using a 3 cross 3 kernel which is black in color over here and the first convolution it is giving me a output of 3 cross 3 and we have padding here for time being let's forget about the padding what we have uh, in the second layer of convolution which is this one when we have a 3 cross 3 output we are convoluting again using a 3 cross 3 kernel and we are getting an output of 1 what is happening over here so as we see the kernel is rolling over the image this process of rolling is known as convolution the kernel is actually doing some mathematical operation in that 3 cross 3 area and it is finding only one pixel value using that 3 cross 3 so the pixel value in our case can be from 0 to 255 and we can scale it from minus 1 to 1 anything is fine it should be representation of the 3 cross 3 area we are trying to convolute so now we are going to learn what is the mathematics behind that 3 cross 3 area happening, right? So we are going to take this same example and do the operations in Excel sheet to understand it in a better way. So here I have an Excel sheet uh, and let's say this is a 5 cross 5 image and this is the 3 cross 3 kernel what we have. And remember guys, in a convolution neural network, we are actually trying to train a kernel in such a way that it, it extract features and pass on, to the, pass on the features or information to the next layer, right? So at the end, kernel is something what we are trying to train, right? So if we look at this kernel, this is randomly initialized and this is the pixel value of a 5 cross 5 image. What exactly is happening is each kernel value is multiplying with the respective pixel. For example, for this first output, as you can see, I have just highlighted this pixel is getting multiplied with this and then we are adding the value to the next pixels multiplication. So let's just try to do this mathematically once. So if we will do the mathematics again, then we will multiply this kernel value into this pixel plus this kernel value into this plus this kernel value into this plus this one into this one plus this one into this one plus this one into this plus this into this plus this into this and finally plus last into this now if i hit a enter it just shows me a single number in that way if we do a output for every convolution it's gonna give some numbers like this right and hence what we can tell that if a 5 cross 5 image is convoluting on a 3 cross 3 kernel and the stride is 1 and there is no padding in the image then the output what we are going to have is 3 cross 3 and just look into the last the second layer what we have and this is the 3 cross 3 what we generated from uh, the first layer and in the second layer we are convoluting this 3 cross 3 with a different kernel now if we want to calculate the output it is going to be this the convolution output what we can see is having only one pixel in this case and this pixel is having a value of 8.6. Remember guys, uh, the input image and the kernel can be negative, it can be zero, and it can be positive values as well. So we don't have control over the kernel, 
based on the output the kernel is extracting and based on the prediction what we are doing and the loss function we have used the kernel values are going to get update and optimizer is something which helps us updating the weights of kernel in such a way that you know it extracts good information and it passes on, on to the next layer so that the next layer you know will be able to understand uh, better the input image to understand more about the kernel in this convolution uh, the kernel is trying to extract features which are going to be important for us let's say this is the first kernel it's a three cross three kernel and we have uh, the negative numbers on the top row and bottom row and in the middle we have positive numbers over here this kernel is responsible for extracting a horizontal line and similarly the second one here is responsible for a vertical line this is a 135 degree line uh, kernel and this is a 45 degree line kernel right so what it means that it's not necessarily that you know this is the only horizontal line kernel which is possible but this can extract horizontal lines in this case if your image uh, is having maybe different pixel intensity then the horizontal line extraction kernel can be a different number but we know that this is going to extract horizontal kernels based on the research what people have done so if we want to code this out let me open up a jupyter notebook and try to show you in in the form of code and try to understand how the conversion is working here if we look into the output we'll just enable the interaction shell over here then we are importing numpy and matplot library i just wanted to see whether the kernel is running or not so i just did a print hello world and it's printing out now i am taking the help of uh, cv um, you know it's a module which is very uh, famous for computer vision applications i am reading a image.png and the image looks something like this it's just a uh, person holding a cell phone so you know in this cell phone we can see vertical lines and this one we can see horizontal lines right and we have we can definitely extract multiple degrees of uh, uh, edges and gradients over here right this kernel is uh, having a horizontal line and if i take this as a kernel and i convert it to a numpy array and i convolute using a cv okay uh, so i convolute the error is coming because i have im as image over here so i convolute using cv2.filter2d uh, using the kernel what we have designed which is we know that it's a horizontal uh, feature extractor and the output what we see is something like this if you guys see it is trying to extract all the horizontal lines and you know it is and this is this line it is trying to extract because every line if we try to draw horizontally it is going to show these features right so just imagine the kernel is convoluting top of on top of the image and trying to find out the horizontal lines right in the same way if i change the kernel value to a vertical line like i make negative one everywhere and i make vertical lines and i run it then in this case you can see that the kernel is extracting vertical lines in in this case now if i do it for 135 degree angle you see the the type of feature it is extracting every time we change the kernel value is different maybe if i remove this it's going to add something else it's going to extract something else as a kernel value you can see it's trying to extract something else in that way while doing back propagation the kernel values are getting updated and it is trying to extract features over here and passes on to the next layer right okay now uh, same example i have done it here uh, this is a beautiful parrot uh, and we try to extract uh, some information out of this uh, using this kernel specific kernel in the image and we got uh, this as output if you see let's say this is one image and we can clearly see that the higher the number the pixel intensity is going to be more so in this case the straight line is having a higher number now the kernel what i have designed is a vertical kernel as we have seen already when we try to do convolution on this specific numbers and this is the, the kernel we are going to get the output something like this things which we need to focus on in this case is going to be the values what we get as output if you see the value 
in the left side of the straight line in the input image was lesser than this after doing the convolution we see these numbers the difference between the straight line which is basically this and the the background which i can say has increased so what it means that if we convolute a kernel which can extract features on top of it the kernel value based on the kernel based on the kernel information based on the information it is trying to extract from the image those numbers are going to be bigger and the other numbers which is going to be smaller in size right you can just imagine that if we try to normalize these numbers to zero all the numbers are going to be zero and these numbers are going to be the maximum line right so clearly uh, this specific kernel is extracting information and passing on the information to the next layer so we while doing the convolution we are not losing on information we are actually extracting information in a different way we are passing on those information which is actually important to us and we are trying to remove the information which is not we know that you know every time we convolute a 3 cross 3 kernel it is going to reduce 2 pixels each pixel in each side of a image and it is going to give us the output so if we convolute on a 5 cross 5 using a 3 cross 3 kernel it is going to give us output of 3 cross 3 so now if we have a 400 cross 400 image and we convolute using a 3 cross 3 kernel how many layers we need to add yes you are correct we need to add 200 number of layers to convolute to a number of 1 cross 1 right to reach to a pixel size of 1 cross 1 now adding 200 layers is going to be computationally heavy for us so we need to figure out a technique which can do convolution in faster way and also which can reduce the number of layers we are going to add one of the technique here is known as max pooling we are going to discuss about it in the next video thanks so much for watching